ששון וכל שמחה, כל חתן וכל, וכל כלה, כל מצהלות חתנים מכובדם, ונערים במשתה Yeah. 
של אריאל וידידיה. מפאת כבוד המעמד אנו מבקשים לכבות פלאפונים. תודה. מזל טוב, ובכם לאריאל וידידיה's wedding. In honor and respect of the occasion, we ask you to turn off all cell phones. Thank you. אני מתכבד להזמין את אבי יהודה רוטנר בסידור חופה וקידושין. באותו זמן אני מזמין לחופה את עדי הקידושין קיבה רבינסקי ויונה וילקוף, חברי החתם. I am honored to call upon Yehuda Rothner, father of the Chatan, for the Chuppah and Kedushin. At the same time, I would like to call upon as Ede Kedushin, Kiva Rabinsky, and Jonah Wilf- and w- Wilkoff, longtime friends of the Chatan. There are times in the tumultuousness of our lives when we have exhausted every emotional place of refuge. And we look for places to turn to, and all of a sudden there are none. When we have been stripped of everything which has in the past given us strength, we seek something to which we can grab hold, to steady and stabilize us, and yet it seems that nothing provides us the answers we so desperately seek. At those times we turn inward, tap the very essence, the wellsprings of our strength and sanity, and call out to the presence and beseech and plead. Leslie, in one of those moments 23 years ago, did just that. And the power and conviction of her words, I believe, is one of the factors that has brought us together this very evening. When presented with a situation in which her Bechirat Liba, Jeff, was critically threatened with a brain tumor, her only answer, when no other answer existed, was to offer up something so precious, something equally vital, something viscerally part of her. The name of this entity, probably unintended, but in retrospect so fitting, was and is Ariel Shoshan. In making a vow as a result of this deep feeling of Akarat Tov to my father, Dr. Rothner, a bond between Akadosh Baruch Hu, the Silvers, and the Rothners was forged. That vow and the quenching of that forged metal is being redeemed this evening. One of the things which Sefer Breshi teaches us is that names are important. No matter how you look at it, names can be descriptive as well as prophetic. Names are not given capriciously intended or not. Oftentimes they describe essence, core, and soul. Ariel Shoshani and Yedidia Ben Sion, your names are fundamentally tied to the Mikdash, the temple. Ariel, your name is shrouded in an Arafel, a mist not unlike that which surrounded Har Sinai, the Mishkan, and the areas of the Mikdash itself. Words are peculiar things because often we spend a lot of time trying to reconstruct the meaning of a word which had a specific locus in space and time. And although we might come close, their exact meaning remains elusive. Yeshayahu used the word Ariel as a specific synonym for Yerushalayim, and the Navi Yechezkel clarifies its meaning as the uppermost part of the Mizbech HaChitzon, the outer altar of, in the Mikdash. The name Ariel is intrinsically tied to sacrifice, whether it describes the pyre itself burning on the top of the altar, or the fire's voracious nature as it consumed what it comes in contact with, like a lion and its prey. The word Shoshan is also intrinsically tied to the Mikdash. (laughs) 
Since this is the embellishment of choice used not only on the Amudim, the pillars of Yachin and Boaz, which stood at the front of the Mikdash, but also the decoration used on the Yam Shel Shlomo, the monumental laver which stood before the Hechal. A Shoshan is symbolic of life and purity, of fecundity and fertility. It is emblematic of everything that Mikdash was meant to describe, that God's presence is associated with life and continuity. Yedidya, when your Iman Abba looked into your soul when you were born, there was no hesitation. Immediately we knew your name was going to be Yedidya. Your names are equally associated with the Mikdash. In Tanakh, although it is not clear who in fact gave the name Shlomo to David's son, the name Yedidya, however, was given by a Kadosh Baruch Hu through Natana Navi. Ba'avu Adonai, v'Adonai Ha'ivo. The responsibility and zuchut of building the Mikdash only emerges through a Yedidya, and in the most elegant and simple way, because Adonai Ahivo. The word Sion is associated with Yushalayim, the land of Israel, and in fact with the Jewish people. V'leimor litzion amiata. That Shuka desire for Eretz Yisrael and the Mikdash, was something that we both longed for. And on the one hand, partially as a tefillah for our own personal return, and on the other hand, to sear into your soul, Avata am ve'aretz, you were named Ben Sion. Ariel. Your name roars with strength. You have been a fixture in our home for the last three years, and we are more complete as a result. You are an impressive young woman. There are not many who internalize the credo of Lech Lecha as a personal goal and simply pick up and leave Artseich, Moladetech, and Beit Avich on your own to pursue a deeper connection to Torah Ha'am Ve'aretz. Leaving your family in New Jersey, you embarked on a quest of Limudat Torah and then university. Your excitement and interest in biotechnology and helping push humanity forward and making the world a better place to live is palpable when we hear you speak. Your beauty and intelligence, coupled with your deep and passionate love of knowledge, ingratiates you to whomever you come in contact. You constantly, exhaustingly drive yourself to perfection, and the standards which you set for yourself are almost unattainable. Your deep love of Torah and your empathy for all are qualities of character that make you Ahuva le kolabriot, as evinced by the fact that so many friends have flown in from Chutz Laaretz to celebrate with you. On a personal note, and what not many people here understand, is that you are also courageous. And as your name indicates, you haven't continued to sacrifice for the greater good. If leaving the comforts of your own home wasn't enough, your choice to be the wife of a Katsim Duv Divan, to embrace at least in the short term worry and angst, Rige Bididut, and at times of mode of communication, of bli lo marmila, is nothing short of heroic. Yedidya, the quality of your character permeates your relationships with every person with whom you come in contact. You are not only vadunai ahivo, you are vehaam ahivo. It is a quality that puts people at ease. You are generous, genuine, honest, and as a result, you are enabled to lead. You are the glue which not only binds our family, but which also helps take a disparate group of people and make them into a unit with common goals, giving them a deep sense of meaning and purpose. You have a knack for bringing out the best in others, making them feel good about themselves. You are a Ben Torah, and watching you learn and listening into your ideas and discussions, especially with your brothers, gives your mother and me a deep sense of satisfaction and pride. The world you have chosen is complicated, complex, and full of nuances. Both Gashmi and Ruchani have chosen the road less traveled, and you have embraced it with all of its challenges. You are intelligent, committed, and like Ariel, you are a perfectionist. You embody achrayut, responsibility, miktsoyut, professionalism, ichpatiyut, caring, and above all, a deep sense of tsniyut, an all-pervasive humbleness and modesty. Your love of this land is palpable. When you speak of a nachal or a giv'ah, it is apparent that you are speaking about someone with whom you are intimately familiar, not just something, a simple topographical feature. In that vein, your deep investment in the security of Medina Yisrael and the security of its people, and like your kala, the sense of self-sacrifice, is a dugma le mofet for all of us. You are a great neches, and we hope and pray that HaKadosh Baruch Hu keeps you safe. The Mikdash, at least in the Tanakh, is about presence. It is about realizing that God is the dynamic, visceral, and palpable force in our lives. The quote which you have chosen for your birchon from the works of Shai Agnon is indicative of the way you feel about Hashem's involvement in your field, in your lives. Magbihim et Rosham, Rohim Zoet Zei Nehem Chaychot Mitochava. 
מתוך אהבה זו אינם שוכחים את אהבת המקום. שהשם יתברך הוא יסוד אהבה ותכלית אהבה. And when they, the Chatan and Kala, lift their heads and set eyes upon each other, their eyes smile with love. Owing to their love, they will never forget Hashem's love. And by the way, in this case, Avat HaMakom is an epithet for Hashem manifested in Eretz Yisrael and Yerushalayim, since Hashem is both the foundation and purpose of love. It is our tikva that His presence will always remain manifest in and throughout your lives. That through your love and commitment to each other and Torah, Ha'am Ve'aretz, you will begin building... Not just a bayit ne'eman, but that your home will become a mikdash me'at. It will be a place in which all who pass through its doors will sense His presence. That your name so intrinsically connected with the mikdash in general, and with Mizbeach in specific, will draw all members of our arm to your warmth and to be illuminated by your light. And that just as the Mizbeach required constant attention, you will stoke your fires slowly, carefully, methodically, so that it will only continue to grow larger and burn brighter. Mazal tov. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם בורא פרי הגפן ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו על האריות ועשה לנו את הארוסות והתיר לנו את הנשואות לנו על ידי חופה וקידושין ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש עמו ישראל על ידי חופה וקידושין Ariel, please face Yidi Diyam and extend your right index finger. Yidi Diyam, is this your ring? Sheve Puta, I would like you to be Mimane, these witnesses, to the exclusion of everybody else in the room. we can share in our lives is a recognition that all comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The goodness that HaKadosh Baruch Hu continues to shower upon all of us is humbling, but at the same time it is something that must be recognized. We give a voice to this through the Brachav Shechianu. Your Talit, a gift from Leslie and Jeff, is a fitting tool through which to recognize his gifts.
Rep. Tzvi Hirschfield for the reading of the Ketubah. בשישי בשבת, 11 יום לחודש מרחשוון, שנת 5774 לבריאת העולם, למניין של המונים כאן במושב אגור. עדים אנו איך החתן ידידיה בן ציון בן רב יהודה חיים למשפחת רוטנר, אמר לה בתולה הנאה אריאל שושן בת רב יחזקאל משה לבית סילבר, היה לי לאישה כדת משה וישראל. ואני על דירתי בעזרת השם אעבוד וכבד ואזון ואפרנס וכלכל וכסה אותך ומשפט בני ישראל העובדים מכבדים וזנים מפרנסים וכלכלים וכסים את נשיהם באמונה ומתחייב אני לך מוהר בתולייך מתי עם זוז כסף ארועים לך ומזונותייך וכסותך וכל צורכייך ולחיות עמך חיי אישו כדרך כל הארץ נתרצתה אריאל שושן בת רב יחזקאל משה כלה זו והייתה לו לאישה וזאת נדוניה שהכניסה לו בכסף ובשער וכסף, מלבושים ובכלי בית ושאר דברים. קיבל עליו ידידיה בן ציון בן רב יהודה חיים, החתן של פנינו, בסך מסוים והוסיף לה משלו סך מסוים. סך כל הכתובה, הנדוניה והתוספת הללו עולים לסך 180 אלף שקלים חדשים, צמודים למדד, המחירים לצרכן, ועוד 200 זוז מלבד כל בגדיה, תכשיטיה וחפציה השייכים לגופה. התנאים שייתנו ביניהם שירים וקיימים, וכתובים בנספח לכתובה זו. וכך אמר ידידיה בן ציון בן יהודה חיים החתן של לפנינו אחריות שטר כתובה זו נדוניה זו ותוספת זו אני מקבל עליי ועל יורשי אחריי שתיפורה מכל מיטב נכסים והקניינים שיש לו תחת כל השמיים שקניתי ושתעתיד אני לקנות נכסים שיש להם אחריות שאין להם אחריות כולם יהיו אחראים וערבים לפרוע מהם שטר כתובה זו נדוניה זו ותוספת זו אפילו מן המלבוש על כתפיי בימי חיי ואחרי המיום זה ועד עולם ואחריות וכל אומר שטר כתובה זו ונדוניה זו ונוספת זו קיבל עליו ידידיה בן ציון ברב יהודה חיים החתן של לפנינו כחומר כל שטרי כתובות ותוספות הנהוגים בבנות ישראל היוסיים כי תיקון חכמינו זיכרונם לברכה שלא כאסמכתא ושלא כתוסי השטרות בביטול ובסילה כל מודעות אונס וכל טענת ביטול שטר או פסילות עדים מכל סוג שהוא וקניינו בקניין מחייב מדידיה בן ציון ברב יהודה חיים למשפחת רוטנר החתן של לפנינו לכלה אריאל שושן בת רחזקה משה לבית סילבר, בתולה זו על כל מה שכתוב מפורש לאל בכלי שראוי לקנות בו, והכל שריר וברור וקיים. נאום עקיבא מאיר בן שלמה דוד עד, נאום יונה נחום בן דוד חנוך עד. Please repeat after me. Ariel. Ariel. Elach Tumatech. Yiratzon Lefanecha. Yiratzon Lefanecha. Adonai Elohim Elohavotenu. Sheaf Pam. Sheaf Pam. Lo Nitzterech. Lo Nitzterech. 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 Amen. 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 איילנד פארק ניו ג'רסי, לברך את הברכה הראשונה. Honored to call upon Rabbi Eliyahu Kaufman, Rabbi of Congregation Oav Emmet of Highland Park, New Jersey, to recite the first bracha. We begin the ceremony with blessing over wine, as does every joyous occasion begins with a blessing over wine. Wine gladdens the heart, loosens the body, and celebrates the day. With the blessing over wine, we emphasize a simple pleasure that can be brought to a person. Baruch atah adonai, Eloheinu melech o'ilom, b'yirei fri ha'gofen. אני מתכבד להזמין את דוקטור דוד רוטנר, סבא חתן, לברך את הברכה השנייה. I am honored to call upon Dr. David Rothner, grandfather of the Chatan, to recite the second bracha. The second blessing brings in a bigger picture. We zoom out to see the real perspective, a unification for a higher purpose. 
Marriage creates stability, consistency, and steadiness in life. But a marriage with a higher purpose, a sense of values and aspirations, can go beyond the ordinary. Creating marriage built upon spirituality lifts the bond between husband and wife, fortifying and bringing me meaning into our lives. Baruch atuah dinoi Eloheinu melech oilam she'akol baral ekvodo. I am honored to call upon Dr. Leonard Horwitz, grandfather, grandfather of the Kala, to recite the third bracha. Our perspective continues to expand as we recount the story of Genesis and the creation of man. And unlike God's oneness, the singularity of man connotes a loneliness, a oneness that isn't complete. The first challenge posted to man in history is brought to light here and becomes the precursor to the fourth bracha. Baruch ato Adonai Eloheinu melech olam yotzer ha'adam I am honored to call upon Hanania Rothner, brother of the Chatan, to recite the fourth bracha. One has now become two. And the creation of woman has changed the dynamic from a cold peace to a reconnection, a bonding of what was once one. Coming together as partners, man and woman, we are able to begin the journey of history. From the image of God, the world has been created. And from man and woman, Adam and Eve, the world will move forward. <laughs> ותהיה ממנו בניין עד היד, ברוך אתה אדוני יוצר האדם. I am honored to call upon Moshe Rothner, brother of the Chatan, to recite the fifth bracha. We develop the story of Adam and Chava further here. We fast forward thousands of years later to the current situation. A nation, a people created in a homeland, now searching for a way back in. The brachot highlight the perspective, the inwards to the outwards, with these three elements, these three different layers of bonds, man with his partner, God, and nation look past the present and towards the future. So, stasis, petegayla kara, bekibut panea letocha besimcha, bochot adonai, mesameach tzion, bevanea. I mean, 
את מר ג'ף פראוור, דוד הכלה, לברך את הברכה השישית. I am honored to call upon Mr. Jeff Prower, uncle of the Kala, to recite the sixth bracha. On this voyage to the next phase in life, we ask God to recreate the prototype couple, the Adam and Chava of today, two people coming together with joint visions, hopes, and aspirations. שמח תשמח רעים אהובים, כשמחך ויצירך בגן עדן מקדם. ברוך אתה אדוני, משמח חתן וכלה. I am honored to call upon my father, Mr. Jeff Silver, to recite the seventh bracha. Our final blessing, we have spanned from the image of God to the image of the future, from a singular present to a world filled with people, joy, continuity, and hope. From the original couple to, to the one standing here today, under the chuppah, we have connected the past, present, and future. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. אשר ברא ששון ושמחה חתן וחלה גילה רינה דיצה וחדווה אהבה ואחווה ושלום וראיות נהירה אדוני אלוהינו יישמע בהורי יהודה ובחוצות ירושלים כל ששון וכל שמחה, כל חתן וכל חלה, כל מצהלות חתנים מחופתם, ונערים ממשתה נגינתם. ברוך אתה אדוני משמח החתן עם הכלה
before we finish the chupa, there are two manifestations which Chazal have given us to elaborate upon our incompleteness. The first one, I will place Efer Mamash from the Beit HaMikdash, given to me by Rabbi Schubert Spiro, a very close family friend, who received it after the Six-Day War from the excavations at the Rachavat Kotel. And as I put this upon your forehead, Yedidia, I want you to understand two things. Number one, that only those that have really experienced what Galut is can truly appreciate Geula. And secondly, that we can never take anything for granted. We must always be vigilant on the one hand and thankful for the gift of Medina Israel. The second manifestation will be the breaking of a coast of in fact not just any coast but of Zuchit Levana. Zuchit Levana, Chazal say, is reminiscent of the Beit HaMikdash. Because in the Azara of the Mikdash, according to the Masechet Sofrim, there were two Sharim. There was a Shar made out of opaque white glass, which was called Shar Chatanim Vekalot. And there was a Shar which was made out of black glass, called the Shar of Avelim. And every single Shabbat, as Am Yisrael would come together and walk to the Mikdash, they would first wish a Mazal Tov to all the Chatanim in Kalot for that week. And then at the same time, wish nechama to all the Avelim, those people who were suffering and mourning in Yerushalayim. It represents the greatest understanding of Arivut, that our personal simcha and our personal sours, sorrows are not just personal, but they are in fact national. And as we sing it, I would also like you to understand that for 2,000 years, our families have wandered the face of this earth. And finally, we have come home. And we have come home is manifested not in that your parents made Aliyah. But now we will begin a second generation of Am Yisrael here in Eretz Yisrael. Tish, 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 tish,